time because they'll be waiting for the green. You just saw Patrick O'Donovan down there as well. He is, of course, in for Legacy Mo Club, second from the left-hand side of your screen. You know, a hyperdrive immediately for three of the drivers. And you can see O'Donovan hasn't used his. It's Molly Taylor on the inside, trying to come all the way around the outside. The Sun, Mini Meal, his team O'Shine, and goes through the deep water. He's on the inside. Oh, takes out almost the whole field. Hits Taylor hard in the rear left, and then on the inside as well. That's very tricky indeed. He by Kevin trying to sneak across the grass. He's got some serious pace there. He's looking up the inside on the jump. There is that jump. Can he go right outside? Flicks the car to that inside line. Kevin Hansen cuts through the grass oh. and passes Baccarat just inside. That's a brilliant move. Baccarat coming back at him. Side by side, Andreas Baccarat takes the position back, but Kevin holds on around the outside line. These two have had a long ride for... Oh, no! Baccarat off the inside in the ditch for JBXE. Carnage! That is a deep ditch as well, and he can't find a way through, so he goes around there. There'll be a penalty for that, but... He's back on. We this think the is rear the race. Right, right be damaged on that. Sorry, Jenny. We think the rear right might be damaged, which might be why he's avoided that uh, that rut. Okay, so this is for first place go, coming down. Clara Addison comes down. There is a penalty out there. Car eight is under investigation for switch though, but this is the finish. Oh, it's wrong. oh my so goodness right, me! Clara Anderson repeats the massive shunt of last year at the line. Oh, my goodness me, that is a big one. Well, oh, and Clara Jenny, Anderson, they... we hope, will be OK, but the Sun Mini Mills just came across oh. and just clipped the side. We'll have a replay of that. Look at that. Here's another angle of it. Oh. One, two... I mean, it's kind of three. three. It's definitely three times over. The question ten out mark of ten is... for the flips. Yeah, uh, it's whether or not the cage is damaged. It's always the is always the, the can or can they race or not. Right, it's green and they are go. It's a good start for Sands. All three of them use their Noah hyperdrive. Just RXR haven't. On the inside, it's uh, it's the. Um, Hansen and, Sa and Sands is going around the outside of the McLaren. It's Timmy Hansen going out there then, first of all. He's got a good shot in the Andretti. Then they go up the hill. So it's Andretti leading the way. And then it's Axiona Sainz. RXR have used their Renault Hyperdrive now going up the hill to give them an extra boost of power. And they've overtaken the McLaren racing. That's a good, a good idea for them. McConnell is right there. And surely this will be an easy prey for him. With a puncture, he looks to the inside of his old teammate. She's keeping the door shut, Jenny. She's getting amazing traction considering she doesn't have any tyre properly on that car, but she's carrying on. So these cars are, are built to last and they really are lasting well. Gutierrez just staying in front at the moment, but McConnell just going tight in on that. Can she keep him out? Can she close the door? She's doing it at the moment. Something happened to Christophson. He's miles off the back. Gutierrez is soaring away at the wheel. It will be the, the right hand, which are tricky here. You can see as she leans on the car, the rim is digging in. McConnell has to get closer. He's still got oh. his Noah hyperdrive. Goes for the outside line. Fraser McConnell trying to go the long way around his old teammate Gutierrez in the Axiona Science machine. It is all the way around the outside for McConnell. He'll be on the right hand side into the next one. Gutierrez still there. He's going to get squeezed over the jump. Finally, McConnell gets it done. That's a great bit of racecraft. Noah Hyperdrive very late. They're both going over the flag there, Jenny. I don't know what, how that they stands. Can't, they can't see it, so it's down. The, the visibility is so poor, I think they can get away with that because what else can they do? But, well, well, throw it up to the stewards and they can they can make head or tail of that. So here comes Katie Munnings down the hill. She'll be aware of what happened in the last one. She's got a big enough gap, so this will be a steady run over the line. Andretti out to keel it, take race two in Q1. In the background, Fraser McConnell finally got the back to his old teammate, Christina Gutierrez. He gets P2, Fraxio on the signs with Lyra Sands. Ekstrom and Gutierrez get P3 and RXR. That was a disaster. Great start the outside, inside and outside line both. Everybody uses their hyperdrive on the run to the first corner. Trying to get through Andreas Backroom for JBX. He had a brilliant time in FP1 earlier on this weekend. First time he'd been fastest in the car. And that's a fantastic hole shot for Backroom. You'll want to hold on to that. He had a brilliant race, if you remember, last time out against Kevin Hansen, who's in P2 with Veloce. They passed each other a couple of times. JBXE actually got a great result considering they had a puncture. The penalties for some mini mill for the contact on. Oh, Kevin looking up the inside. 
means that they held on to uh, P2 in their race. And it's an amalgamation of their results in Q1 and 2. Kevin in the back of Andreas, pushes him a bit wide, slides up the inside, oh. backward, into the back of him. Wow, look at that. Veloce just uh, by the side, and JBXC just coming through. The waypoint is going to be missed by Veloce. They've been pushed out. This is a messy sort of race. Both JBXC are in the lead. Ekstrom trying to find the momentum to get alongside Sorensen. He dives up the inside, but she finds better traction. He won't do it there. Just trying to get on that grass and just come past Sorensen, but really struggling to get that. So Taylor nails the end of this finish line. She takes the win, so it's a win for Veloce, but who will get it in second place, JBXC? Coming down, so uh, Science gets second, and then in third place, JBXC, and fourth place, McLaren. Green light, and everyone uses that, and Noah Hyperdrive first thing. Neil McLaren looking really good in the middle there. JBXC getting the tight line, they're up on two wheels. Sun goes through. Problem for Neil McLaren, but look at these two fighting for it. JBXE and Sun Mini Mills, they're going back into that barrier. It's a really hard fight at the moment. Not a very happy birthday present for him tomorrow. I'm sorry for that, but Neil McLaren are out of this race and JBXE have the lead. So Donovan showing some pace for Legacy Motor Club. Now he's up behind Amanda Sorensen for JBXE. So Sorensen was good off the start, wasn't she? Getting into a proper scrap with Scheider. You ride on board now with Patrick O'Donovan. Legacy Motor Club looking to the inside. He's alongside the JBXC machine. O'Donovan here is properly going for it. Hooks a wheel on the grass. He's almost there, but Sorensen manages to shut the door sideways on the exit now for both of them. He's nearly there. Scheider's there to pick up the piece as well. Here is Patrick now. Takes a glance across to the right. Inside goes Amanda Sorensen into the right hand of this flag. has been down a few times. Oh. Donovan makes the cut back and makes the pass. That is a lovely move. Out front, you ride on board with Grey Ledbetter. We said it a bunch of times last time. She's only 19. This time she's partnered by Patrick O'Donovan, meaning they are the youngest driver pairing ever in Extreme E. And she's coming down the hill for Legacy Motor Club to take what is their best result this season. They take the win in the redemption race here in Scotland. And P2 goes to Clara Anderson and Timo Scheider. A lot of wheel spin and immediate, you know, a hyperdrive for everyone. Great start on the inside for Lyra Sands. Timmy Hansen coming out wide. Going to make the cut back towards the inside line. Doesn't look like there's room for him to be able to sneak along, though. RXR on the inside. Now Taylor moves to the apex. She gets the whole shot. Hansen trying to get past RXR on the inside line. But Lyra Sands is around the outside of Arlen Kotlinski. Arlen Kotlinski into Lyra Sands. Timmy might be able to take advantage here. The RXR machine looks like it's grabbing up the road. Maybe a broken rear right on that from the contact it is. So there's damage to the back of the RXR machine. Hansen needs to dispatch Arlen Kotlinski as quick as he can and try and get onto the back of Lyra Sands, and he does so. So it's a disaster for the championship leaders. They have heavy damage at the start of the race. Timmy Hansen, P3. We're going to get up with the drone and find out who's leading. It is Lyra Sands in P2, and Molly Taylor leads for Veloce. Oh, contact, contact. As uh, Andretti go up the back of Science, and you can see there's damage to that Axiona Science car. It's just bodywork. It peels away, but that contact, how much will that damage both of their chances to win this race? Because when they're fighting each other, they're not fighting at the front. Yeah, they're losing time, aren't they? You actually saw Lyra Sands got a bad bounce on the way into the corner. Timmy didn't get that, so he carried a bit more entry speed and uh, into the back of the Axiona Science machine. At the moment, out front, Veloce, Eon Veloce having a fantastic time. Clean screen, no damage, just a little bit of space from the cars behind. A minute and 31, Arlen Kolinsky is back. Uh, looking at this, she's about to, she's just coming down to the switch zone. Look at the end of the first lap. Hansen so trying Kolinsky. to go around the outside, down the inside. He's trying to find any way he can through what, this. Watch out for the RXR machine. He should be on track somewhere here, and he runs into the back of the Axiona Science machine again. And, oh, the Andretti Tequila machine goes around. There was a down flag there as well. The RXR machine was in the mix. You could see from the flags on the map they were coming up. So I wonder if that potentially caught Lyra Sands out. She moved across. Timmy wouldn't have been able to see it from behind. So a little bit of carnage there. And we'll have to uh, see what happens. 55 and 5 incident noted. That's from earlier. So that's not the Hansen incident. And with a flag down too, Jenny, lots to go on here, definitely, for the stewards. It's going to be a busy afternoon. It really is. Oh. Um, so.
Let's replay all the collisions. So this is Andretti going up the back of Blyer Sand. Oh, you can see that is quite a heavy shunt, actually. That's the earlier one. So that's car five and 50. No, that's not car five and 55. No, that's, that's car... the start, yeah. yeah. This is the second impact. Look, Hanson hard into Climbs the back. Up. Who takes the flag down? Axiona Sites for as he's... And I, I wonder if you might discount that one, Jenny, because there's two cars hooked up. You can't really blame either. I mean, this could be a clean sweep of absolutely every result today. I love that, that. Would, yeah, amazing. That would be amazing. Kevin, look, his lips are going. Full concentration. They are still at the top of the Continental Traction Challenge of 119.7, and that's over now because we're on that last lap. So it is... Hansen coming down, Kevin Hansen in that Veloce car being chased down by Fraser McConnell in the Axiona Science team. They are coming to the final two corners. They're coming down that long, winding, uh, well, straight, pretty straight track and then into the finish. It is a win for Kevin Hansen and Molly Taylor in the Veloce team. And McConnell comes in second. Katie Money's going to take P3 here for Andretti out to keel it. They're on the podium. These are the results of the grand final. So in fourth place, and disappointment for RXR not finishing. Third place was Njeti Altakila, Hansen and Munnings. And then in second place, Axiona Science. Sands and McConnell doing a great job out there, but not enough to take the win away from Molly Taylor and Kevin Hansen in the E-Index Veloce car. Well done to them, a championship win on a Saturday.